Hello and welcome to day 11 of my 21 day challenge to share a little bit each day about some of my experience and learning around ceremony and ritual which I believe leads to uh, a deeper connection with self and inner reverence. So today, I, yesterday we talked about water and today we're going to talk about the item that you might place on your altar that symbolizes and represents water to you. So it isn't necessary to have a structured altar. I've been saying this, but quite often we like to represent the four elements at least and the four elements that we all need in order to survive and thrive are earth, water, air and fire and often on an altar we would put something that would represent that element so we've done earth um, which was our stones and now we're going to look at what you might choose to put on your altar that would symbolize water to you so it's lucky i've talked about the uh uh, Pachakuti Mesa tradition, I almost forgot, <laughs> and the Celtic tradition. And both these traditions have water in the West. But you can, if you're just creating an altar that hasn't got that structure and you're just placing things, then put it wherever it feels right for you. So what might you put there? Well, I brought a selection of things. For me personally, um, I would put shells. So any sort of shell, this is quite a large shell, and then little, any little, any shell at all. You might put water itself, and you might have a nice container that has water in it. You might change the water, and if it's been sitting on your altar, use it. Um, you might uh, have a vessel that can that would contain water here I have like a cauldron which you can put water in so it, uh, when I'm doing ceremony I would use that for the water uh, uh, you could use one of these little snow things that's great I've now forgotten the name of those and it's not coming to me, but that contains water. And that's a playful element, which then <clears throat> makes me think of dolphins. Uh, so think of the things that live in water. And it's interesting because a friend of mine contacted me the other day and told me that she felt we all have a dolphin spirit guide and suggested that I could connect with that spirit guide before going to sleep, just say, Dolphin Spirit Guide, would you connect with me? And although I didn't see anything specifically, I woke up in the morning and I was thinking about dolphins and the playfulness of dolphins. So that's what she was saying is, they bring in the playfulness. And I remember seeing a pod of dolphins once uh, just randomly on a beach and at, we were all sitting at a, a beautiful beach restaurant and everybody was in awe. Everybody was fascinated and up and looking at these dolphins. And we know too that the sound they make has a very healing frequency. So you could also have possibly um, a water dragon. You could have a picture of a waterfall, you could have a picture of a snowflake. But the thing that you want to do, once you get the item that you would like to place on your altar, is connect with it. Look at it. What do you see? Why did you choose that item? What does it bring up? What feelings, what senses, memories? Um, what might it be telling you? And the importance of this is, as we spoke about with the stove, it's about really connecting with your item because it's an extension of you. And in a sense, you're creating an inner altar. 
This is about you developing your intuition, your inner knowing, and your connection with the outside world deepens. This is the, the precious experience that you get. And this is why it's really important to, to spend time. And then as I showed you before with the, the stone, we blow into it. It's like blowing in our essence, our prayer, and making that deeper connection. And it's a really deep blowing. Uh, in the Quechua language, it's called fukui. And, and, it's, and then you click it in place. So I'm going to do it again to show you. And then you place it wherever you want to on your altar. Okay, well, that's me for today. Please, if you have any questions or if I haven't been very clear about anything, please uh, share. And as I've said before, please share your comments or any pictures because I think it helps other people. And if you think that anybody else would value from this, then please do share this. We're now um, halfway through creating our altar, just about. Uh, and then we'll move on to other ceremonies. The reason I want to create the altar is that you prob that so is that you have something that you can work with that you might want to use at the solstice, which is around um, my final video. And we're going to look at how we can create a ceremony for that. Okay, everybody, thank you once again. I do appreciate the comments you're sharing and you listening this this much to this point okay bye